Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my video game pickups for April 2021. As per usual, gameplay footage included of every game on this list. But check this out. First up, I picked up the Super Retrocade. This is a plug and play with a ton of games on it. Now this is a UK version and the unfortunate thing about the UK version is they remove compatibility for MAME arcade games and Neo Geo games for adding your own games onto this thing. So, of course, naturally I picked up the American version 1.1 as well. Okay, I'm crazy. These are different things. Um, the American version has much more compatibility for adding your own games. And by the time you watch this video, there will be a video for each of these up on the channel, so check that out. Pretty awesome. Recommend getting the American one. Anyway, first up, for the NES we have Kabuki Quantum Fighter. This is a platformer. The setting is Earth. In the future, the defense computer protecting the entire planet has been invaded by a constantly mutating, evolving enemy. One lone volunteer has the courage to face the enemy on its own ground. Converted to raw data and transferred into the circuits of the computer, the molecular structure of this brave warrior is transferred by the as yet untested image transfer system, and into the circuits of the computer steps an unlikely hero, the Quantum Fighter. This game features six levels of challenging action with unequaled game control and a surprising arsenal of weapons. That's Kabuki Quantum Fighter on the NES. And next up we have... Mega Man 2 for the NES. This is an action game. He's back, and this time the evil Dr. Wily, once the supreme power in the universe, has created even more sinister robots to mount his attack. But as Mega Man, you've also grown in power and ability. Can you save mankind from the evil desires of Dr. Wily? Each of the eight empires is ruled by a different super robot, and you must defeat each enemy on its own turf, building up weapons as you go. Only after all are destroyed will you go head on with the mastermind himself, the evil Dr. Wily. But be on alert, Mega Man. Dr. Wily has powers his creations do not. Civilization relies on your skill and courage, confident that you, Mega Man, will stand tall in the end. That's Mega Man 2 on the NES. And next up we have Metal Gear for the NES. This is a top-down action-adventure game. Outer Heaven leader Katafi has activated the ultimate super weapon, Metal Gear. Responding to the crisis, covert unit Foxhound is called into action, and that's where you come into play. Trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and skilled in every weapon known to man, your Foxhound's lethal fighting machine, codenamed Solid Snake. But on this mission, you'd better be sly as well, to surprise heavily armed enemies, busting them up quietly and rescuing their hostages before alarms are triggered. Plus, you've got to maintain radio contact with Commander South, who will feed you crucial info on Metal Gear's whereabouts. To survive, capture submachine guns, berettas, grenade launchers, and plastic explosives until you find and destroy Metal Gear, ending Katafi's reign of terror. That's Metal Gear on the NES. And next up we have Solomon's Key for the NES. This is a puzzle game. You and Dana, the wizard of Lyrak, must unlock Solomon's scroll of secrets to restore peace to the constellations. With Dana's magic, fire, and mystical powers, you will help release the imprisoned princess of the fairies and harness the evil forces within the constellations. But first, you need the key. That's the arcade hit Solomon's Key on the NES. And next up we have The Adventures of Bayou Billy for the NES. This is an action game, for the first time ever three of the most awesome action video game experiences explode into one mean swamp stomping adventure. From zapping mobsters and wrestling gators in muddy marshes to chasing through the streets of New Orleans, driving and shooting in your road-hugging four-wheel drive doom machine, you're up against it all, cause that gangster king of Bourbon Street has snatched your best girl. Pretty little Annabelle, the sweetest honey around, and run her off to his heavily armed estate, a plantation filled with perils and pitfalls. So muster up courage and sharpen your foot-long blade, it's time to go hunting. But if you ain't careful, the prey will eat you alive. I guarantee. 
You're a raging Cajun on the tail of a swamp rat in the adventures of Bayou Billy on the NES. Next up we have Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo. This is an action adventure game and is very similar to the NES game of the same name, so much so that the game description is identical. Regardless, this game is very different. For starters, this game has cool 16-bit graphics and has redesigned stages and enemies, although the mission is much the same, where you gather key items venturing into buildings to proceed. Here the game takes full advantage of the Super Nintendo power, featuring impressive first-person 3D sections which bring you unnervingly close and face-to-face -face with those most deadly carnivores. That's Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo. Next up we have Megalomania for the Mega Drive. This is a real-time strategy game, and is also one of the first RTS games even preceding Dune 2 and the later Command and Conquer games. Megalomania is a god simulation like no other, it's a madcap mayhem a go go as men from all walks of historical life fight each other to control the planet. The game also boasts crazy speech provided by professional actors and states that Megalomania is a feast of far out fun for anyone. That's Megalomania on the Mega Drive. Next up we have Iridian 2 for the Game Boy Advance. This is a shoot 'em up game. A century has passed since the Iridian Empire was defeated. Since that time, humans have populated the old Iridian galaxy giving mankind freedom and peace. But suddenly, all communications with the human outposts from there are lost. The Iridians are back, and planet Earth is too far away to offer help. The only chance is a lone powerful spaceship. Yours. So, be the new saviour as the Iridian forces strike back in Iridian 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Next up we have Dino Crisis 2 for the PlayStation 1. This is a survival horror game. It's been one year since Regina's first fight for survival against prehistoric dinosaurs. Now Edward City, an entire town, has mysteriously vanished and is replaced by a prehistoric jungle. And so a search and rescue mission begins and is armed with heavy artillery, yet only Regina has any idea what to expect when the team arrives. Pure terror. Total Station gave this game 92%, saying it's flawless in every respect, and sets the standard for all. OPM gave it 8 out of 10, saying it is Resident Evil with clever touches that make it a singularly clever and playable game. Power gave it 9 out of 10, saying it's the best survival horror game on the PlayStation. FHM gave it 4 out of 5, saying it's everything the Jurassic Park movies should have been and Play Nation gave it 9 out of 10 saying, this blows the original out of the water. They're back with more fear, more dinosaurs and more panic than ever before in Dino Crisis 2 on the PlayStation. And finally we have Shenmue 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 4. This is a collection of Shenmue 1 and 2. Take on the role of Jujitsu protege Ryu Hazuki and solve the mystery of your father's murder within a unique open world still unrivaled in depth and detail, and return to the epic saga that defined modern gaming. This collection boasts the best Shenmue experience, with updated graphics, controls, widescreen support and the choice of English or Japanese voiceover. This game lets you play an epic legend, a tale of revenge on a grand scale that will never be forgotten. And this is Sega's most requested re-release of all time. It's two timeless classics for a new generation as the saga begins again in Shenmue 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 4. So there you have it, those are all of my video game pickups for April 2021. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.